YouTube shorts and monetization. People say that you can't monetize shorts and that time that you are playing YouTube shorts does not go towards your monetization time, of which you need 4,000 hours before YouTube will even consider monetizing you and you also need a thousand subscribers. So let's have a look at this channel that I set up, which is exclusively shorts um, in December of last year. So it's now 14th of April. So it's been going just over a quarter. Um, we have 270 subscribers. That's growing. That will soon get to the 1000 subscribers. Not a problem. Here is the issue. However, we need to get 4,000 views, 4,000 hours of watch time. And people are perfectly correct in that the watch time when YouTube shorts are playing does not count towards the overall watch time on your channel, of which I say you need 4,000 hours. If you want to check how you're doing against those targets, then it's very simple. In your YouTube analytics, simply go down to monetization and you'll see that 2007, sorry, the uh, 270 subscribers out of the 1000 is there. Good. But I only have 127 public watch hours towards my 4000. Hmm. 127 isn't much, but if the, the views from shorts don't count towards those 4000, where has that 127 come from? Hmm. Big question he pretends to not know the answer to, but does. I'll tell you, the videos that you're putting up, even though they're shorts, will be played on the shorts shelf, great, but they'll also be played as regular videos. And when things are played as regular videos, they do count towards the 4,000 hours. So I'm gonna go back into analytics and I'm gonna show you a trend that I've been noticing, um, which I think you're gonna find um, inspirational perhaps, or at least a relief. Let's have a look. Um, right, so we're in analytics and I'm going to go and I'm going to find the, actually, no, let's do it from content. We'll go into content. Oh, oh shut up. I'm getting Good. feedback. Feedback. I only have shut up, shut up. Public. Let's mess yeah. things up a bit. Right. Um, I'm going to go in, I'm going to sort my videos by view. So this one here, bear in mind, Remember, these are all short. So this has got 4,000 something views. Let's go and have a look at the analytics. This is the analytics just for this one video. Um, I'm gonna go on to more, and then I'm gonna have a look at traffic sources. Now this will show us that um, this orange line here is the shorts traffic. So this is the traffic or the views which I'm getting from the shorts shelf, which do not count towards the 4,000 hours. However, look what's starting to happen. This blue line, this is the browse features and videos or this short, which is played as a result of people finding it in the browse features does go towards the 4,000 hours. And what I'm noticing is as shorts have been up um, for longer, and they're starting to become more viewed on the shorts shelf. As I would have expected, it means that YouTube's other parts of the, or the other parts of the YouTube algorithm, which recommend the videos to be shown in other parts of YouTube, such as in the browse features, such as in the suggested videos, um, and other features are, are, are becoming more popular. So it seems that we get initial bump from the shorts shelf which is great because it's very good for subscribers, as we've seen. Longer term, and remember, I'm always talking about YouTube being longer term. Longer term, those shorts videos are starting to appear elsewhere where they can be monetized. So even by the monetization standards of, um, you know, a, a standard video, um, we, we can get monetized. But coming down the line from YouTube, there is strong indications that there are going to be other ways of monetizing shorts, uh, shared revenue model with um, models with uh, music artists being one of them. It's still very unclear, um, but the great thing about being a pioneer is if you get in early, then the things which um, other people are going to struggle to get traction in and therefore benefit, you'll be ahead of the curve. So there is a, an act of of faith in doing shorts at the moment in that, yes, they're not the most easy to monetize and the most efficient monetization by traditional methods, at least the AdSense method, but it does mean 
that if you start doing them now, they're going to start getting traction and you're going to get the subscribers and everything else you want. So my contention remains, keep doing shorts.